okay i'm hyped because today today it's time to maiden this beast some of you might have already seen this frame because there's a separate video when i talk only about the frame but today today is time for the maiden all the eight motors all the eight propellers all the esc flight controller camera everything is put together and it's time to see if this thing flies and i hope it does because it was bloody expensive and yo this video has a sponsor and the sponsor is me or rather my second youtube channel when i talk more about the electronics arduinos and programming go check it out maybe you will like what you see hell yeah yeah baby okay so far so good pretty stable in the air and this thing has a lot of power then we're gonna fly this thing fpv oh this will be so awesome <laughs> oh this will be awesome one awesome bird it runs on INAV default yes i lowered some of the lpf all the filters because after hover test at home i noticed that the gyro was not clean but i have not touched anything i only like lowered every lpf i had in the NIAF by default by approximately 20 hertz and this is all everything else is absolutely standard INAV configuration it is heavy and it feels heavy in the air because it's 1700 grams with those two 6s lipos but even without the lipos it's still 1200 grams so at least a heavy weight in modern standards but so far so good nothing wrong is happening during the hover test i'm able to keep it in the air nothing is vibrating nothing is getting loose so i think it's time to land and see if the position hold works Yup, it works. Out of the box, no configuration, just enable the position hold. And this thing is holding a position like it should be. It's time to slightly lower the motor idle throttle scale. And let's see if this thing can acro. Yes, it can do acro. Rolls, loops, everything works out of the box. However, the quad feels slightly loose. This is especially visible on the pitch axis. Your axis is 100% fine. Roll axis can be tuned, but probably I will have to spend most of the time improving the pitch axis. Because you can clearly see that there is lack of the authority on the pitch and especially after the power loop or the flip, it kinda wants to do strange things in the air. However, with the low PID values, I do have quite a lot of room to play with. Where I come from, this is a success. Not perfect, I still have no idea about the flight time and the maximum weight it, this thing can carry. I do expect it will be something like the 2 kilograms, no problem, and it does require quite a lot of probably of fine tuning to really get the best of this machine. But now I have the locks, I can do something about this. I think it's safe to say. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and happy flying because I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this thing.